There's three main advantages to barbecuing outside. Number one is you can get your barbecue way hotter than you can your stove in your house. Plus, it keeps the house cool. Number two, you can smoke things and not have the fire department show up again. And number three, barbecuing outside is just cool. So this is my applewood smoked pork tenderloin with blueberry apple compo. But first things first, we need a rub. So I like to start the rub with some brown sugar and then a couple good shots of black pepper. Paprika, because it's delicious. Some of that sweet heat goes great with the pork. Some cayenne. Lean into it. And mustard powder. It's silky, it's smooth, it's sexy, and it's got a bit of bite. And then a touch of salt. That's pretty simple, right? So for the apple blueberry chutney, it's simple. Bacon and shallots just cooking down a little bit. And then put in the diced apple with it. And then the seasonings are pretty simple. Pork loves things that are really sweet and tart and kind of big and punchy. So a little bit of nutmeg goes great with pork. Brown sugar will get the chutney nice, thick, and sticky. And a shot of balsamic vinegar. It's tart, plus the sugar's sweet, and it makes it quite delicious. So there's one other spice in here that's like the nutmeg, and I put it in the warm spice category. It's the clove. Just a few cloves are really powerful. And then some ginger. You want it really nice and flavorful. Here's a great tip. I like to put the ginger in the freezer, and then when you grate it, it just kind of demolishes it. And it's all about the apples, so a nice shot of apple cider. Let's talk about a smoke pouch. All right, so it's just a sheet of foil, and you need some chips. So what I've done is taken applewood chips and soaked it in apple juice. So super easy, just put the chips down. It's not a big tenderloin, so you don't have to do a huge pouch. Fold it over, make a nice little purse. And then you want the smoke to escape, so I just tap it down with my knife and have some steam escape holes. That's easy, that's all you need to do. Wet chips, foil, let the steam out, and it adds great flavor. And now for the main star of the show, the pork loin. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Super pork loin! Not too much work to get this thing ready for the barbecue, but there's one thing you have to do. You need to get rid of the silver skin, and it's that stuff right there. It's really easy to take it off. You just wanna get a nice knife and go under it, and then pull on it. Super simple. If you take that off, leave the fat on, the pork loin is good to go. Let's do this. All right, so once the pork loin is nice and clean, then you can rub it. It's called rub for a reason. Let's hit it! For some reason, that job is always so much fun. And look at that pork, it's covered in flavor. Okay, I'll clean up, I'll see you at the queue, and I'll show you how to light up a smoke pouch. All right, it's time to smoke. Put the smoke pouch down, close the lid. When you start to see and smell smoke, then it's time to put on the pork. <laughs> I smell smoke. That's a good sign. When you see that smoke coming out, you want to put the pork loin on the side with the no smoke and just let that envelop around the pork loin. Get it really nice and smoky. It'll be delicious. All right, so the pork is rested for just a little bit, and look at this. Oh! Yes, I love cooking it indirect. It stays really nice and juicy. You can smell the smoke on it, the rub's delicious. So, you can't have an apple blueberry chutney without blueberries. So what I like to do is put them in at the very end and just kind of move them around the warm bacon, apple, all the spices, and they just soften up a little bit and take on a lot of flavor. And then that way you get like a big explosion of blueberry. Awesome, so let's plate it up. That is perfect for me. Like just a little bit of pink in the middle, and if you just push it together, you can see how juicy it is. I cut it into nice fat medallions. The pork is so nice and lean that you want a good chunk. I like to plate it, make it look really nice and pretty. Yeah, and then you get some chutney on there, bacon with the cooked down onions and the apple cider vinegar. Oh, it's so good. Pork works really well with something sweet, especially apples or berries. It's a lean meat, but then you get that rub on there and some berries. It's a match made in heaven, and it looks really pretty. Woohoo! 
That is pork heaven. It's so good. The pork tenderloin is really nice and tender, and the rub, it's got smoke, it's got sweetness, but the apple, bacon, blueberry chutney with a balsamic vinegar, like, lights your mouth up. 